name is Tina Kula and I'm a lecturer for international business here at the University of Melbourne in Australia. I'm teaching the Karma Research Methods short course on grounded theory method and analysis. And I've been teaching this course now for a couple of years for Karma. Um, it's been a lot of fun so far. Um, I love the integrated approach where participants bring in their own studies, their own problems, and we really do a hands-on collaboration. Um, of course, teaching a couple of the basics um, and uh, some of the methods, but also really then applying those methods to what the participants bring in, their own problems, their own challenges, um, and the studies they want to conduct. So with the course, what we usually do is that we start with an introduction to the different uh, grounded theory traditions, um, and we talk through them, we talk through their assumptions, um, we talk through kind of their development, um, and also the more recent um, changes or, or the more recent adaptations of this approach to um, current problems and current um, management issues. Um, we then kind of go over and talk about research design um, with a grounded theory approach to really kind of explore um, what grounded theory can and cannot do um, and how uh, the participants should be thinking about their own research project. So this includes um, things such as sampling, um, this includes things such as access to the research site, um, the right research context, um, Things like, basically, well, if you were to collect data, for example, from sensitive uh, populations like children or um, data from uh, cross-cultural population, how you would approach that, what to think about. So we, we explore all of these kinds of things, and more importantly, we then talk through the participants' own research projects to really um, apply those more general ideas to their own work so that we can help solve some of their problems and help them think through their own research projects and what grounded theory can do for their own research. We then uh, move on to, to talk a little bit about data collection um, and kind of the implications of taking a grounded theory uh, method to um, data collection. And so we talk about uh, how to take field notes, how to do memoing while um, collecting data, um, what data collection um, techniques might be more conducive to the particular design or the particular research study that a participant is interested in, and so on. And so we talk really through the, uh, the particular issues that come with different data collection methods, such as interviewing or observations, um, and how that would link to um, grounded theory methods. In grounded theory, really, data collection is very intimately linked to data analysis. So we then talk about data analysis and how there's this iterative process between analyzing data and collecting data and making sure that you're collecting the right kind of data that will help you see concepts or help you uncover certain patterns and uh, relationships um, in the research context that you're interested in. So we talk, we spend quite a bit of time talking about data analysis with regards to coding, um, how to basically look at the data in different ways maybe to see concepts emerge that um, are novel and new and unique. And so um, we then talk also about um, memoing and how you can help uh, yourself basically by keeping track of your coding decisions, by keeping track of the thoughts that you're having while you're um, looking at the data, ideas, um, maybe inklings for relationships that might be there to really help you uh, guide yourself through the coding process and keep track of these potential jams of ideas that that might actually lead you somewhere where basically the data is showing you something completely new that you hadn't thought of before. Um, we then also talk about um, how to put what we've uncovered and what we've coded um, into writing. Uh, writing is, again, very intimately linked to this process of grounded theory. So a grounded theory researcher really should be writing all the time, um, be it memos or be it actual um, observations um, and interim uh, observations of the data. So um, we talk about writing and we talk about how to write productively and efficiently to then turn um, the writing into publications down the road. 
Uh, now I've been reviewing for quite a few journals over the years and uh, especially with regards to qualitative methods um, in all sorts of social settings, cross-cultural settings, team settings, uh, leadership settings, all sorts of things. So um, I have pretty good insight into what papers should look like or you know how they should um, address a certain issue um, to be really valuable and, and have a good chance for journal publication in the long run. So we, we do spend quite a bit of time on that as well. And then finally, we leave a good big chunk of time um, for co um, consulting in the sense that um, we'll talk through the participants' research projects in depth. So once we've talked through all the different approaches, um, the research participants can then bring their study and their study design or their coding um, to the class and we can talk through it in depth and, and do in depth one on one consultations. Um, and so I think that's very has been very valuable to the participants, but it's also been a lot of fun for me because I see so many cool and interesting studies, um, things that I've never thought of or that never really occurred to me and, and I really love that. I mean that's the beauty of qualitative research and the beauty of grounded theory in particular when you see people develop these really new and novel ideas. Uh, and being part of that is really rewarding. So I'm looking forward to the next cohort. Uh, and I'm looking forward to see you in Melbourne. Uh, Melbourne is going to be very pretty during the summer. Um, and it'll be a pleasure having you here. So I can't wait to hear what, what you have in store, what you're thinking about with regard to your projects. And uh, let's work on them. Thank you. Bye-bye.